Hey, hey, welcome to episode six of SpaceX in the News. We got a lot to go over today, a lot to catch up on, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna take you back to September 13th when SpaceX tweeted a new picture, a new rendering of the BFR. Now the point of the message was to act as a teaser for the world's first private passenger to fly around the moon. However, it seemed rocket enthusiasts were more intrigued by the actual rocket itself. The BFR spacecraft now looked a lot different with its three new fins. A few days later on September 17th, Elon Musk didn't let his fan base down when he did a live stream from Hawthorne, California. Elon broke down all the new changes that were made to the BFR since last year and did a Q&A with those who attended. One of the big changes that was made to the rocket was it was actually made longer. The 2017 version was actually shorter than the Saturn V. Now with the 2018 version, it has actually surpassed the length of the Saturn V, which I really think is awesome. I love the Saturn V, but 50 years later, we need something bigger. The BFR now stands at 118 meters tall, or 387 feet, which is 11% bigger than last year's version. Most of that length was actually added to the BFR spaceship, which now contains two forward actuating fins and two rear actuating fins. That also second as landing legs. The third fin to the aft of the spaceship doesn't actually actuate, but it does act as a third landing leg. Elon did say that the motivation behind these changes was actually the aesthetics. He didn't like the look of the previous version. So what this actually means is that the spaceship will now land a little bit differently than before. Instead of coming into any atmosphere vertically like the Falcon 9 does, it will now expose its heat shielded belly to the atmosphere in an attempt to slow down much like the space shuttle did. However, much like the Falcon 9's grid fins, the BFR spaceship will actually use its actuated fins to steer much like a skydiver steers with his arms. Then as the spaceship approaches the surface, it will turn so its engines face down and land much like the Falcon 9 does now. Upon concluding all the BFR updates, Elon then introduced the first private citizen that will be flying around the moon. He's a renowned Japanese entrepreneur and rare art collector. Yuzaku, if I'm saying his name correctly, did say he's going to take six to eight artists with him on his trip around the moon, and maybe even a couple astronauts who want to volunteer to go as well. This launch is speculated to be in 2023, However, there's a good chance it's gonna get delayed. In more recent news, on October 4th, it was announced that the first manned crew Dragon flight will actually be delayed until early 2019. This comes after SpaceX's Vice President of Build and Flight Reliability expressed concern that paperwork and scheduling issues could push the test flight into the next year. Be that as it may, I just want everybody to be safe and the flight to be successful. And to tell you the truth, I'm actually really looking forward to the in-flight abort test the most. And finally, SpaceX broke new ground and set new records on October 7th when they launched the first reused Block 5 version of the Falcon 9. Oh yeah, and they also landed their first rocket on the West Coast, on a landing pad just next to the launch pad from where it took off. So that wraps up this episode of SpaceX in the News. Thank you so much for watching. Keep an eye out for the next one. God bless you. Stay righteous.